Hello everyone. Today we are going to create a multi-level user group approval workflow in Business Central. The requirement is to design an approval workflow in Business Central with the following structure. Level one approval group. So this group consists of two approvers. So the system should only require one of the two approvers to approve. Once any one of them approves, the approval process for this level is considered complete. So level two approval group. So after level one approval is completed, the system should automatically send the approval request to second level approver or multiple approvers. So this approver must review and approve the document to complete the entire workflow process. So again, in level two also, we can have a single or multiple approvers and only one of the two approvers is required. So for that, to start with, let's jump onto the business central. So first, I created a workflow user group. So I named it as multi-level. And here you can see that uh, there are four members in this workflow user group. So Veronica and William are in sequence number one. So Greg and Sanjay are in sequence two. So when we request the approval, so first it will go to Veronica and William. If one of them approves, the request should go to Greg and Sanjay. And if one of them approves, the whole approval process should be completed. So now let's go back and open the workflows. So I'm going to show this uh, example on general general batch approval workflow. So let's dive into this. Uh, general general batch approval workflow. So here uh, you can create uh, this approval workflow from template and then you can modify the template. So the first change that I have done is to this line and approval request is approved and I have added uh, the conditions as sequence number not equal to two, which means sequence number is one and the pending approvals is greater than zero, then it should send the approval request for the record. So which means it will send the request to the second level, okay? And the second uh, event that I have is also for uh, an approval request is approved. And here the condition is sequence number not equal to one and number of approval requests is greater than one. So which means this is for second level and uh, the number of approved requests are greater than one, which means the first level is one approval and uh, the second level is uh, another approval. So now uh, for the responses of the sequence number two, so the first response is remove the record restriction and the second one is approve the approval request for the record. So this is very important uh, to approve the request for remaining users that are not approved, okay? So this is regarding these two approvals and the other change I have done is in uh, a general general batch is balanced, then uh, we have to change here the create uh, the approval request for record using approval type as workflow user group, okay? And I have selected that multi-level user group that I have uh, created just now. So once it is created, I have enabled this workflow and let's see how it works. So let me go to general journals. So let me open default batch here and I have created one entry here. So now let's say if I go to send approval request and for general batch, so it will 
it will send an approval request. So if I go to line and approvals, so here you can see that there are four records created with sequence number 11 and sequence number 22. So the William and Veronica are in uh, sequence number one and Greg and Sanjay are in uh, sequence number two. So here, uh, uh, once it is created, so let me log in as uh, Veronica uh, or uh, William. So let me connect to this instance. So let me see, I think I logged in here as William. Yes, so here I logged in as uh, William. So now let me go to the journal journals and default batch. So here I will see the entry uh, with the status as uh, pending approval. So I can go to approve and click approve action. So this is uh, now approved. OK, so now let me switch back to my previous uh, instance so let me just uh, close this and reopen again and now it is showing as pending approval so go to line and approvals again so here you can see that uh, the status is approved for william but it is still open for uh, the other sequence number one user veronica OK, so we have to leave it as it is for now. Uh, so it doesn't matter if uh, the Veronica can open and approve it or not. But now here you can see that uh, for the sequence number two earlier, uh, the status was created, but now it is changed to open. So the request is sent to already sequence number two approvers. That is Greg and uh, Sanjay. OK, so now let me log in as either greg and sanjay okay so let me show that where is my cursor if come on cursor okay somehow my cursor is not working let me navigate it through here i think yeah here we have uh, the instance so let me see the login user here yep so here i logged in as uh, greg as you can see and now if i go to journal journals and default batch so here it will be showing as pending approval now let me go and approve this one so now the status is changed to approved now let me minimize this one and go back to the main instance and close the approval interest page and reopen now you can see that all the statuses are approved once the greg is approved so with this, I think we have achieved our uh, requirement, which is, uh, you know, the level one approval group where William and Veronica are the approvers. So if one of them is approved, uh, the request sent to the second level. And in second level, we have Greg and Sanjay. And if one of the second level approves, in this case, Greg approved, uh, the request and the whole document uh, workflow process is completed. All right, thank you all.